Okay, we've got example three right here. They're telling us it might not be the case for, for us right now, but in this section, they make sure to introduce the symbols for ends, intersection, or union, and not. So let's go through that. Consider all the people in the world. Let A be the citizens of the United States, and let B be the set of people who have brothers. So we have this table here, citizens of the United States and brothers. Okay. Shade the set of people who are citizens of the United States and have brothers. That's the intersection right here. And look at the notation, A and B. So in the next one it says, shade the set of people who are citizens of the United States or have brothers. And they want us to represent in the Venn, the Venn diagram below. So I think the wording here is a little bit off. I'll have to fix that. So here it's saying that um, essentially this region right here. And then I'm not, just gonna, I'm not going to draw it like this right here because the overlap counts that intersection twice. So I'm just going to say is this piece right here. We're going to be careful not to shade twice. And... Here they show what the notation is. It's A or B, red A, union B. And it's the probability that a randomly selected person is a citizen of the United States or has a brother. The next one says, shade the set of people who are not citizens of the U.S. in the Venn diagram below. Okay, well, that's everything not in A. Everything not in A. So all the people who are not citizens. This is written as... A complement C, and the probability that a randomly selected person is not a citizen in the United States. So they're using that complement symbol. I have seen the dash as well. Um, any symbol works for me as long as you know what's happening. All right, example four. Let the event that the car has manual transition be denoted by M. Okay, so manual transitions right here. And the event that the car has a, is a sedan four-door vehicle is S. Okay, the Venn diagram below shows the probabilities associated with four of the regions of the diagram. What is the value of, of M intersect S? The probability um, there is a manual transition and the car is a sedan. That's just the intersection right here. So you can say 0.12. Next one says, probability of M and S is the probability that a randomly selected car has a manual transmission is a sedan. Okay, so we got that. What is the value of M union S? So it's going to be 0.9, this section right here, plus 0.12, this middle section, plus 0.6 there as well. 0 0.09 plus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.6. Okay. And what's that could equal? Well, 0 0.12 plus 0 uh, 0.6 is 0.72 plus 0 0.09 is 0.81. It's pretty high, right? And um, that might surprise you. Next one. The probability of a manual or a sedan is the probability that a randomly car has a manual transmission is a sedan. Oh, they're just telling you what this means. Okay, what is the value of the probability of the complement of a sedan? The complement of a sedan. So the sedan is really these two numbers put together. Let me just erase some of this. It is the 0.12 in the intersection. So it's this number right here. And it's the 0.6 out here as well. So it's just 0.6 plus 0.12. So here we're dealing with complements and... That just means that we're going to do 1 minus 0.72, the sum of these two pieces right here, and that's 0 0.28. And they're asking what that means in the next part. What is the meaning of it? That's every car that is not a sedan. That's all it is. Not a sedan. Complement of sedan is everything else. So really we're looking at all this stuff here. I shaded the green, this part, as so you can see how I'm counting uh, the 0.72. But if I highlight everything else, it's do yellow. This is the complement we just found. Everything that does not fit in there. Everything that's not a sedan. All right, hope this helped.